Hi guys, welcome to The Rule of Two, where the Star Wars news cycle continues. I'm Terrence. I'm Manny. And uh, we got more news. Uh, it's crazy that we're back so fast, right? Uh, because right after we, talk, after we talked about the Mandalorian trailer, we saw the, D the D23 footage of episode nine. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably like the very last. Probably the last people, people who saw it. <laughs> Guys, we work. We Jobs. work. We, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Who gives a shit? Let's go. Keep going. All right. I want to talk about this. I cannot wait. I have been wanting to freaking talk about this for, right. for the longest time. Now, the trailer actually starts off, and it's going to take you through the journey. You're going to freak. If you have not seen Star Wars on the big screen, you missed out on all that Why stuff. Why were you at D23 Guess if you haven't what? seen Star Wars? Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> We're gonna take you through, and that's what Disney's doing. It's taking you through the entire journey. Why it didn't start at episode one, who knows? But it started out with the original. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Uh, but it actually starts out with the original trilogy. It takes you through all of the memorable scenes in the uh, in the uh, original trilogy, on going into the uh, the prequel trilogy, and then finally going into the sequel trilogy. Right. Okay, so. They Tokyo Drifted. That yeah. other stuff didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when Tokyo Drift Part 3 is actually Part 6. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rule yeah, 2, the best Star Wars show anyway. Number one uh, but Star Wars show. But regardless, uh, you know, but throughout the journey, there are hints. There are hints that Disney and Abrams are throwing at you to prepare you for what is going to happen in Episode 9. Right. And that is something that I've been rewatching over and over mm -hmm. again, and it, it's it's just mind blowing. But regardless, what did you think about the trailer? What did you think about I, the new footage? I mean, after I got past the first minute of like, hey, you remember all the member berry stuff that they did at the uh, at the beginning of the trailer. <laughs> So after I got past all that, that's when they actually showed us some new footage, which I thought was weird that they're showing new footage this early. Well, I guess it's still coming out. Well, in this December. is technically <laughs> this is technically uh, uh, trailer two. Yeah, okay. in a way. Uh, I figured they would wait to maybe October or something before they got something like this. Before we get a little bit closer to it before they start giving out this new footage. Though the new footage that they did show definitely hypes. If you weren't already hyped to see Episode Nine, especially if you were kind of like a little down on the series or the franchise itself after Episode Eight. I love Episode Eight, by the way. Uh, you don't hate Episode Eight? This trailer brought your anticipation right back up because it showed you a lot of things to be excited for. Uh, thing, obviously, all the things with Ray. <laughs> because they did show some other, they showed that, hey, they're doing some other things in, in some background shots. You saw some new characters. Uh, but the focus of this is what's going on with Ray. Uh, I don't know how you probably want to go, but that's my overall thought. It gave us a lot more insight on that. And we will definitely see her square off with uh, Kylo in a, in a, obviously, in a final battle. This is actually uh, Star Wars Endgame. <laughs> To where, to where uh, you know, Endgame was a culmination <gasps> of 10 years. This is a culmination of like 40 years uh, since 1977. So, okay. uh, you know what? Uh, I don't think that it's going to capture the audience as much as um, Endgame did for Marvel. But regardless, they are marketing this thing as the end of the Skywalker saga. And because of that, I think that it is, uh, you know, it is going to be, you know, it's going to be really big. The 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 footage that they shown. Let's mm -hmm. start with um, the brand new footage that okay. they shown. Now, brand things new. that we've seen, we've seen <laughs> the um, the new Star Destroyer or the Star Destroyer. Yeah, uh, it, it, look, they're full out of salt. We've, full out of salt. We've seen in Return of Jedi where, like, yeah, they did, and it was a big battle, and that's probably the only legit war of Star Wars. Um, <laughs> the uh, but this one seems like whatever they had left. They sent it all out, which makes me wonder why they've never done that before. They was like, okay, this is our last stance, this is our last push. Probably something by Kylo is like, send it all. Don't stop shooting, just keep going. <laughs> We're gonna give them everything to end this thing now. Mm -hmm. So I was really impressed with that, and it seems like the the overall threat is very, like, is too much. That, that's how you always wanna set up your antagonist, is like, hey, how can they defeat this particular force? And I'm glad that it wasn't the Death Star again, which we haven't seen. There's a third trailer that might come out with a Death Star. Well, it's like uh, part of a Death Star. <laughs> part of a Death part Star. Part of a Death Star in the ocean. Uh, but you do, yeah, you do have those Star Destroyers. You have this uh, uh, fleet of uh, resistance coming in. Uh, you know, you had the B-Wings making a comeback yeah. in this. Um, you have uh, uh, Ray, Poe, Finn, uh, 
supposedly <laughs> Lando's daughter, maybe, and yet the droids going into a uh, to another desert place where they're looking upon a celebration of sorts, uh, it's which a celebration. Could, <laughs> so just, which could potentially tie into the Mandalorian a little bit. It's a possibility. You never I mean, know. Too far in the future, but okay. But yeah, but regardless, you know, you, you never know. But it could tie. Uh, but you have that, and then you have, uh, you know, things of uh, uh, of the uh, the weapon that the Empire has, and what it, not to the extent of the Star Killer base, but to the extent that it is causing some damage there. Right. And uh, you have all sorts of freaking things going on all over the place. Who's funding the Empire, by the way? I, you know what? He's <laughs> like, where are they getting all this money for? The Empire is kind of defunct already. I was like, where are they getting this money from? I didn't see General Hux anywhere. It's like, is Jerry Lewis out there collecting? Do they have a? Is there an Empire telethon? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the Empire? Give us some money. We're working on a new Death Star. Who's the host? Who's the? Who's the host of the, of uh, the Empire telethon? Jar Jar. Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar Jar. Misa need more money. <laughs> so, so you got, uh, so you have, all, you know, all these things going on, and then you have, uh, you know, uh, images of uh, Carrie Fisher. Yeah. You know, which pretty much, you know, she passed before uh, or right. so after. This is reused eight, so footage that they didn't reused use. Reused footage yeah. from uh, episode seven, episode yeah. eight, and uh, you know, working their magic on that. Mm -hmm. And then you have all of these, uh, you know, all of these different uh, things that are just happening all at once at Ray. Right. And, you know, she, is she doing training? Is she getting pissed off? She's is she getting I mean, herself? So many freaking things, possibilities with her. And you're right. This is pretty much about Ray, Or is it? We'll get into theories in a little bit. Okay. Now let's get into the... And we'll get in... We'll, we'll tie everything in, but... Okay. Now you got to the closing. Right. Where, you know, basically... You're, the biggest part of this trailer. Your, journey, your journey is... Your person, your journey ends here. Yeah. So... And then you got the image of the dark. Of dark. You right. got. You do have Ray and and Kylo fighting. You right. got. You got. Uh, you got Kylo walking with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Breaks out his freaking crossblade, mm -hmm. and and him and Ray are, are duking it out. Right. Uh, and then after that, you have a brief uh, pause with da uh, with uh, Palpatine's dialogue. Uh huh. And then you have Vader's breathing. Right. And then you have Darth Ray. What, what, do, you, what do you got? I think this is the uh, the journey that. Luke took uh, in general. You think this is the the journey that Luke took? Yeah, I mean, basically when he went to uh, where I'm sorry, it wasn't Jedi. I, I take it back in Empire, where he was uh, in when he's yeah, in the cave. When he goes to go, he was like that place is is strong with the dark side of the Force. She's gonna when she went there in eight, but I think that she finds another, or she either goes back to the is she back on the island? Is she? She could possibly she could still possibly be, be. She could possibly be back on the back island, to Act Two. and then goes back because she didn't get answers in there. Maybe she goes back into the cave, uh, mm -hmm. and she tries to go look for more answers from that particular cave. And in there, it shows her her darker self, just like it showed Luke. Uh, it was foreshadowing to say that you know he was related to Vader, but in her, it shows that hey, this is a possible outcome if you give in to the Force. I think because there's no possible way that they would spoil something like that if it was a true plot point that was like, hey, she's going to turn to the dark side. Well, you so all you guys out there talking about like Ray's going to turn, she's not going to turn. They're just, she's just kind of, it's the foreshadowing of what could be. I was hoping, or um, I am hoping that she does. I, she won't. But I'm hoping that she does. It's because the rise of Skywalker. It's they, not the <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's get into theories. Can All we right. just get into theories? All right, let's fine, go. Let's there, go there are so many theories out there, and you know there are so many guys out there that have thrown out some pretty damn solid stuff that made me believe it. Like, damn, man, why watch the movie? You already told me. <laughs> um, right. Nerd at Nerd Chatting. Okay. Check them out on uh, on Twitter. Um, pretty much has a theory of Ray being a clone of Luke Skywalker from his hand. Okay. So when she's in the cave in episode eight, or she's underwater or whatever uh, in episode eight, and she's picking up her hand, it's there. There's a big significance on why her hand, her that right is, hand, that is an is interesting there. thought. And there are you know multiple rays within the whole with that with that oh, whole shot ah. to to implicate um, or to to pretty much say that there is clones, that there is clones of Luke, ah. and all of the clones sucked, including her. <laughs> And she was not the one that they needed. Now, there's a lot of things. Now, everybody knows that um, the extended universe is not part, or the expanded universe is not part of canon. Right. But they have been borrowing a lot from those. And okay. one of the things that uh, have come out from the uh, the legends, now called the legends, mm -hmm. is Palpatine's clones. 
Palpatine transferred his uh, consciousness from clone to clone to clone. Every time he died, guess what? <laughs> I got another body, I got another body, and so mm -hmm. forth. So why not do that again, but do that for, uh, for Luke? And you had all of these different clones. Okay. She was the one. And there you go. Okay. And, and, and Darth Ray, who you saw, is not actually a vision, but in fact, the one that was the perfect clone of Luke Skywalker inside as far as the uh, Skywalker lineage. What do you think? Mm, uh, okay, I got so more to that. Very, very interesting. I got more to that, very, but what do you think? Very interesting. And it, you got a lot of, ah, ooh, ah, you got a lot of that for me. But if they go through this one, uh, then it, it, it totally discounts Kylo. Not necessarily. It, it I'll totally tell discounts. you why. But it, keep on. it totally discounts Kylo if they do this because then it's, it, it, then his point was like it's kind of like enemy of my enemy is my friend, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't settle their stuff. It only just says, hey, we're gonna team up and we're gonna fight this particular thing that's out there. That's one thing. The other thing, and I was like, why wouldn't he just make a male Luke? Why would he have to make a female one? Well. I mean, because we're, we're, honestly, talking, we're really talking about the dark side of the force now. We're talking had, about why he made a female Luke. In all honesty, here, now here, here's some stuff that's been going around, and I actually kind of believe it, and I'm actually going to chime in on it too. Okay. And that is that he did. And guess what? That clone Luke was the one on Octu. Why would that? That is not Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Oh, we're digging way too far into fandom yeah, now. <laughs> but, but Luke Skywalker is, uh, you know, after Empire, once he got the Jedi. Mm -hmm. His confidence was ridiculous after Jedi, or, or, or during Jedi, mm -hmm. actually. I mean, why do you think he walked with a purpose to get Han Solo from right. Jabba's palace like that? Mm -hmm. Because he was that confident. I don't buy that after the experience he had with Kylo Ren, that he you know, was gonna fall that low that he was not. Okay. So I honestly believe that if there was any kind of clones, that was an actual clone, which is why the arm never fell out when the when he disappeared and flew off. Ah, His mechanical arm never fell because he was not Luke fell, Skywalker. The, arm the armor fall. did not fall because that was not Luke so Skywalker. What was that arm then? Wow, well, he's up his ass. I don't know, but let's just talk about <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. Did he clone the middle arm too? Well, that's just it. See, he he, he, he cloned, cloned the middle, the middle? He cloned everything. He did okay. everything. Hey, Palpatine, man, he's there with freaking. But in the same thing, even if even if it wasn't the original, it's like it, that would have fell well, too. Can I finish? I just said it's bad editing, sir. <laughs> Probably, but anyway, that that's that's my opinion on that. So, uh, but yeah, so it's not, you know, it, okay. it, that was not Luke Skywalker. That was all a test for Ray because you know. Okay. Now here's the uh, here's the other thing is to be honest with you, I honestly believe when you look at these trilogies, the the names are always significant to the plot of the movie. Force okay. Awakened in Rey. Right. Or The Force Awakened in the lightsaber. Okay. The Last Jedi mm -hmm. was either Rey, mm -hmm. or it was Luke, right. or it was Kylo. I mean, that was very... The like, Rise right? of Skywalker <laughs> is gonna be two things. This is just me, but The Rise of Skywalker is going to pretty much be either Ben Solo. I don't wanna see that. Or it's gonna be Anakin Skywalker. When, when Kylo is in deep conversation with that helmet, he actually does say, he does say, and everybody knows it, I'm gonna finish what you started. Mm -hmm. What Vader started was throwing Palpatine over the frickin' reactor mm -hmm. in, in the Death Star to kill him. Okay. But obviously, that did not happen. It didn't work right. He also started the end of the Jedi, so, I mean, he could well, be finishing well, that. Well, true, true. <laughs> but Palpatine never died from that, so, it could be that he is bringing balance to the force in that in that regard to help him finish what he started to finally kill Palpatine or take over the galaxy kind or of like take over the galaxy <laughs> kind of like what a what Anakin was truly doing at that time taking over the galaxy well Vader was the not Jedi. Anakin okay I'm sorry Vader did not Vader Anakin. that is why it is the rise of Skywalker and it is Anakin Skywalker or Ray is Anakin Skywalker. I, I mean, dead be Jedi. We we talked about this theory a long time ago, <laughs> which would be funny if somehow like they course corrected and got us back to Ray being Luke's daughter. No, it's not. Okay, she's not, she. I honestly believe that she is either. Uh, we're, we're gonna go with Terrence's theory and say that she's Leia's daughter. No, either she is. Well, there was another theory out there, and I apologize. I did, I don't. I didn't catch her name, but um, <laughs> that she is actually Han and Kira's daughter. That doesn't make her Skywalker. 
That's a good point. <laughs> Leave that part out. <laughs> Your theory, out the window. But um, it doesn't necessarily have to be her. It, okay. it could be unless she is either the clone of Luke or she is Anakin Skywalker. Or she's Leia's daughter. She is not Leia. Or she's Leia's daughter. Okay. <laughs> who, who she get with then? Damn. I mean, you know, Han left. Poe. Han left. Poe. Han left. Who knows, man? Who knows Poe, man? Too. I mean, she didn't be Poe to later on. Come on. <laughs> the time anyway. Line, timelines. But I'm just saying, like, maybe, you know, after seeing what happened with Ben, they were like, hmm, this other kid, maybe we should not tell anybody. Maybe we should stash him on another on another planet. Now, you, back in uh, 2015, when the Rule of Two really started, yes. the real, this is the, the original real. Rule of Two, yeah. right, Collider? Um, you put a video out that was talking about Kylo being the one to put Rey on Jakku. Yeah. Uh, a lot of responses to that. Mm -hmm. A lot of theories on that. Yeah, people loved that one for a while until, until they were like, "F you, JJ." Yeah. <laughs> but there was another theory out there that it was in fact Luke who put that her there? put her there because she was the one that was that he sensed the strongness as far as the dark side, and it was her, not Ben Solo. So he's into was... the business of murdering Jedi's, the, his students. Well, my father likes something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say? It was I'm like. Here. Ba ba ba! Oh wait, oh, hey Ben, you know what? I, I take it back. I was wrong. It's this little girl. <laughs> so final theories, final theories. You got Palpatine in the mix finally uh, again. Now whether or not he is actually is he Palpatine? Uh, was he alive the whole time? Was he the the was the Palpatine on the Death Star a clone the whole time? And Palpatine was in the background. Uh, he was Snoke the whole time. I would have preferred Snoke was a that clone. If, it, if they were going to go the clone route, they shouldn't have done Snoke. Well, I think they should have just done Palpatine right there. But what if Palp? No, that yeah, but there's no there's no closure there completely. The, you have a new threat that you think is who he is. You know that it, 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 it steers you one way, and but the whole time it was Palpatine the entire time. So Palpatine actually being a, a Snoke being a clone of Palpatine or Snoke being. Uh, uh, Palpatine the whole time that 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 would make sense as well he is he, he is too easily defeated in, in Jedi in Last Jedi no he is so that's why I don't buy it I don't okay. buy that Snoke was this all powerful this and that I honestly believe that he was just you know a decoy mm -hmm. a clone and Palpatine was alive the entire time could he have been another Palpatine apprentice he could have been, absolutely. And then he was killed, and now Palpatine comes from out of the shadows because his apprentice has been killed. Yeah. Okay. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. But I would take that than Palpatine being Snoke. I don't I don't really like that theory. I, I, I don't want to believe that because then you should have just made him Palpatine to begin with. Why go through that? Why make me talk about Snoke for like four years before and then go back, ah, it was Palpatine. <laughs> so what do you think about 3PO and the red eyes? What's going on? Uh, I, I'm going to assume that maybe he plugged into something and he gets hacked. I don't think it's as important as they made it seem in the trailer. I, I think it's like a, like a momentary thing where because there's been evil versions of like R2 and 3PO. Like the, the evil version of 3PO is like really vicious and talks about how he like wants to dismember like people and humans and stuff like that. So I think it's a momentary, a momentary hack that he gets from plugging into something and he becomes evil for a minute, and I bet you they shut him down in like five seconds. It's not gonna be as big as it made it seem in the trailer. Well, there are different things that have come out lately, especially when you tie the fact that Anakin Skywalker is the one that built C-3PO in the first place. Uh -huh. And the fact that Darth Vader, knowing yeah. that he's still Anakin Skywalker right. inside, knowing that c Anakin Skywalker, trans he put his brain, nope. and he took his consciousness, and put it inside nope. the C-3PO. Nope. C-3PO, nope. nope. <laughs> the Empire saw everything. Okay. The entire time because three pro was there. I mean, they missed a lot of stuff. They missed that whole first explosion on the Death Star. They missed that whole second he explosion on the Death Star. No, because that. Palpatine <laughs> says that it was. No, him. he let him there, but he they, he's still there. like, yeah. So yeah, which he knew he was not really there, or he was. He knew he was a clone, okay. so he really didn't care if he was. Yeah, boom, yeah, well, okay, shit. I'm dead. I'm over here anyway. <laughs> I'm remote controlling over here. I'm all... We're crossing the theories now. <laughs> but, what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that you know Anakin was responsible for that. C-3PO was blown up in Cloud City. He was under, uh, you know, uh, Vader's watch. Mm -hmm. You know, 
there's parts sleep, of comics. There are Vader sleeper, comics. Sleeper cell C three PO. There are Vader comics. Well, he that waited suggest. like he there waited are, like forty years. There are Vader comics. <laughs> Activate <that> now. <laughs> there are Vader comics that suggest that he remembered C three PO and who he was and told them to put him back together or to put him away, not to destroy him. Okay. When that happened, that was in the comics. All I right. saw that. Okay. Uh, but regardless. Red Eye C three PO sleeper cell sleeper cell. <laughs> there you go. Chillbots. I said I'm gonna pro program him for forty years later. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, All right, so what else you got? Program for forty years later. Oh, oh God, please. If that's where they go with this, I, I'll I'll be out. I'll be out. not the whole bad Luke in the turning light. That's not my hashtag. That's not my Luke. That's not where I was at. Sleeper cell three PO. I'll be out. <laughs> If he thought 40 years in the future is like, you know what, I'm gonna need this one day. We're gonna need C-3PO on the inside, working his magic, kind of causing trouble, but kind of staying out the way and not really doing anything. Jar Jar didn't work out. 3PO is gonna work out. That's right. Okay, so uh, there is this, uh, there's a thing out there that I put on Twitter. If you're more than welcome to go to our uh, Twitter page at the Goods Podcast yes. and vote. Please vote. Please vote. Um, but we have, when all is said and done. What is going to be the worst out of the trilogies? Is it the prequel trilogy, the original trilogy, or oh, the, the sequel tr trilogy? Well, that's... <laughs> All right, so... Obviously, Rise of Skywalker's not out yet. Yes. But two out of the three aren't. Okay. So when all is said and done... What do you got? It's, unfortunately, it's going to be the prequel trilogy. But I will I agree say with you. in the public opinion that over time, people seem to, like lessen hate on things sometimes it gets worse but sometimes the hate since the lesson of like we were disappointed with the prequels but like there's the this time. yeah the, we were there's nostalgia that builds over time that's why you have your cult hits sometimes there's bad movies that become cult hits that have a fan following right mm -hmm. there's a love that's built up over time on them and i think the same thing happens with the prequels i think and we, if we talk about like now when episode nine comes out if it's good or bad let's just say it's good Nah, let's, let's say it's bad. Let's say it's bad. It's not what we want. Because of the hate that's going to happen at that particular point, they're going to say that this trilogy was the worst of the three. Well, people, There are people out there, right, Jeff? Yeah. That say it already is the worst. That's because they just want to hate to be hating. So, because it's not. It is not. It's not <laughs> the original. So either. It's not the original. Hey, you know what? But it's better than a prequel. <laughs> hey, hey, uh... Uh, Force Awakens was too much like Star Wars. Okay, cool. Hey, I'm gonna give you something different. Damn it, this is not Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what they did. They were like, you guys complained it was too much. Ryan Johnson's gonna come in here. He's gonna give you something totally different. Damn it. Hashtag not my Luke. Is all we heard. That's all we heard. That's all we heard. It was like 90% of the other movie was like really interesting. That one scene with Luke was too much. Throne room uh, had me. It was good. the casino thing too. All right, so yeah, that, was that was the was... that was like 5% of Luke, 5% of the casino. So, <laughs> pretty much. All right. So, um, oh, and uh, Rose Kelly Tran. But oh God, please, the hotter. That was sister, you, not the me. The hotter sister died. <laughs> That's <laughs> messed up. This okay. is why Star Wars doesn't do well in China. Okay, so but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is that You're awesome. uh, if it's great, then all the hate from Episode Eight will go away. Okay. Um, I honestly believe that the prequel trilogy is the worst, unfortunately, uh, with the exception of Revenge of the Sith. Which should yeah, have like been Attack episode of the two, but whatever. I, I like the Attack of the Clones minus General Grievous. Well, <laughs> actually, General Grievous was probably this, one of the top parts in the whole thing. But I, I didn't like the going robot back, Jedi. Go, going back to what you were saying, though, uh, as far as nostalgia, uh, everybody does hate on the prequels, <clears throat> but everybody longs for Hayden Christensen to come back. That's over time. Continuity. People, yeah, people just like, it's the love starts to build again. But continuity yeah. also plays a factor because you... You, you you know, and, and we've talked about this before when it comes to the Marvel Universe, is that the continuity and the journey with these characters is what, is, is what you know, excites people. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, just to think that you have a sequel trilogy that is actually going to tie into the prequel trilogy, which the uh, double-sided light, the double-sided lightsaber that Rey has she brings it is an homage to uh, Darth Maul. Is Darth Maul part of this? Possibility. That's another theory. That's that a somehow possibility that he ties into it. 
Yeah, it is a strong possibility, you know, especially with, you know, his reemergence in Solo with Star Wars Story. So that's exactly that, why it's possible. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that people are excited about as far as the closure mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, tying up the loose ends, which J.J. Uh, Abrams has said repeatedly that that is what Episode 9 is, which is why it makes sense that they started out the trailer with this whole journey and the closure and all that. So that's why I think that, yes, it is going to tie up prequel stuff is going to be in is natalie portman going to make a surprise return who knows but uh regardless uh i, know I did my two turns there is a possibility <laughs> there is a i'm lady thor now uh there, thor there is a possibility now. that um that ewan mcgregor because he just signed his deal to reprise his role he as Obi -Wan, finally got to say he's going to be obi-wan that again. is a possibility that he is going to also be in here as a force ghost with modifications to make him mm -hmm. look like alec guinness but uh you know th that is what intrigues me the most about this episode because it is going to tie everything together right and you know there are so many theories out there please go to youtube check them out go, go there's there's so many really solid one actually uh, solid ones actually my opinion is that it is anakin skywalker the rise of skywalker is anakin skywalker or ben solo one of the two um i don't believe any of that stuff i believe a lot of fan theories i don't believe those but <laughs> i would like so in hindsight thinking back that they actually got to this point since we didn't do palpatine i would have liked if they had made it maul Maul comes back. I mean, he had his whole thing with Clone Wars, so I, assume, I understand why they didn't do that. But that would have been a cool thing to do. It's too late to do Maul now, even though you're going to do the double-sided lightsaber to just kind of like homage Maul. But it's not going to be him. I, I, I'm ready to see what they're going to do. I'm, at this point, I don't, I, don't even, I don't even care what they do. Just show me what you're going to do so that way I can decide if I like it or not. And then put this movie in its place of Star Wars in the list. So <laughs> tell us what you. So when we do our top five Star Wars films, I know where they rank this one. <laughs> well, right now you have uh, Jedi in your top five, Last Jedi. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Last Jedi is in my top five because it's a really good movie. I don't know why you guys hate on that one. Yeah, I don't know. It's a really good movie. I mean, take us home. I mean, there were really boring parts as far as the original Star Wars. I mean, there were stupid parts of the original Episode Star Wars. Episode two was boring as shit. No, I'm, t I'm talking about the original trilogy. The original trilogy wasn't perfect. Well, chronologically, the original trilogy was sucks. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, so uh, and, and look, I'm glad you guys made it back for our second video of Rule of Two that we've done in like the original an Rule hour. Two. I mean, not an hour, a year, basically, right? It's been about a year since we've done it. It's been a long freaking time. It's been a long time since we did it. Solo, the Star Wars story, was the last because that, that we was did. in summer of last year, right? Yes, it was. It was summer of last year, so it's been a while since we've been doing this. Uh, and we want to do this more often, so we need you guys to go out there and comment, like, and subscribe, so that way you know about all the other videos that we do on the channel, as well as this one when it comes out, because now you guys are going to let us know that you want to see it more often, and there's more Star Wars news, we're going to do this We're going to do this video more often. Absolutely. For us and Art, where the hell they're at, I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And may the force be with you. Three, two, one. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to the... Do it again. Do it again. All right. You want to do it? No, I got it. Okay. Three, two, one. Terrence. Hi guys, welcome to the Rule of Two, where the Star Wars news saga continues, and I'm sorry I paused like that, but my name's Terrence. I'm Manny. <laughs> we'll do it again. Do it again, alright.